Well, hello again. This is Brother Peter with Tidbits from the Word. This morning we're going to be in Matthew chapter 1 and verse 1. To those of you who are not ardent Bible studiers, this may be kind of a boring thing, but what I'd like you to do this today is to capture the fact that there's 14 generations that were talked about uh that we need to know and it gives them in gen in this uh, book of Matthew it's just like starting over in Genesis only it's Matthew and the thing about it is if you'll take these names and you'll go and find you a good word study or a book a who is who in the Bible you'll be able to uh, find out uh, who these people were these were important people and we have a lineage today ourselves, and we have a Christian lineage, and the Christian lineage is very important in our life. But it says the book of the generations of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. It uh, clarifies here who's who, and that's what's important. In verse 2, he said, Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas, and Judas his brethren. And there were several people in that brethren. And you can go back and uh, research that and find out who they were. In verse 3, it, Judas begat Perez, and Perez Zerah of Tamar. And Perez begat Esram, and Esram begat Aram, and Aram begat Aminadad, and Aminadad begat uh, Nason, and Nason begat uh, Solomon. Let me tell you what. Uh, it's very important to learn how to read the Bible. It's very important to learn how to read the Bible. Learn how to read these names. And uh, some of you have not ever heard my testimony and don't know. I didn't really learn how to read until I was 30 years old. And I learned by use in the Bible. In verse 5, he said, And Solomon begat Boaz of Rechab, and Boaz begat Obed of Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse. Now we're getting down to where Jesse was the father of David. We need to learn these things. Learn the Bible. If you learn, The more about the Bible you learn, the more intelligent you can read it. When you hear names, you can go back in your mind's eye and say, Oh, I know when that was. And uh, verse 6, And Jesse begot David the king. And David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Uriah. Now, this was a sordid story, the wife of Uriah, how David had taken uh, Bathsheba and, and uh, how he had I committed a uh, great sin with her and everything, but God used this man, used this incident, this case, to, to for the good. And verse seven, and Solomon begat Rehoboam, and Rehoboam begat Ava, and Ava begat uh, Asad, and uh, Asad begat uh, Joshaphat, and Joshaphat begat Jeroboam, and Jeroboam begat Oasis. Now remember, Joshaphat was a priest, and he was in the in there. And if you follow the priestly line now and follow down through, you're going to find that it was the priestly line that Jesus came from, and uh, that these people uh, were brought down through. And it was a a sacred line. It was a line of uh, Jewish people that were not uh, inbred by other people. It said, and uh, Ezekah, Ezekah begat uh, Manasseh, and Manasseh begat Ammon, and Ammon begat Joas, Josie, and Josie begat Jechariah and his brethren, and at the time they were carried away into Babylon. Now, as these children of Israel got carried away into Babylon, and they were there for many years, and you remember the story of 
uh, different ones that got carried into Babylon, like uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, which was Daniel and his buddies. They all got carried uh, over into Babylon. And so they were there for a while. And uh, as we study these names, we can go back and uh, dig these names out and find out where they were and what they did. And after they were brought uh, to Babylon, uh, Jacobus begat uh, Sam, uh, Sethno, excuse me, and Sethno begat Zorobel, and Zerubel uh, begat a Abed, and Abed begat El Ekelam, and Ekelam begat Agar, and a Azor begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Achim, and Achim begat Elud, and Elud begat Ilara, and Ilara begat Mathan, and Mathan begat Jacob. Now we coming down to Jacob. Jacob is going to be the man that's going to have the twelve boys that are going to be the twelve tribes of Israel. They're going to be the pure Jews. Now remember, they had been taken over into Babylon, into captivity, but God was still on the scene. God was still controlling the thing. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, and from David until the carryaway of Babylon are 14 generations. That's 28 generations, and God's still on the throne. All 28 generations, God was involved. He had his finger in there. He was involved in that. He knew what he was doing. God did not get lost on the way. God had a plan, and that plan he prepared, and he worked it. And the generations from the carrying away of Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. So we have three 14 generation groups if you write down 14 14 and 14 do the math and that's uh two four six and bring i mean uh, excuse me that's four eight twelve and then put the one up you got the two down there and that's 42 generations from abraham to jesus christ so you have 42 generations there you can uh, do the math it's very easy and, and count the Bible, read the Bible, and count the Bible. Uh, many things in the Bible are done, and uh, Jesus himself did many things. Number seven was complete. Number eight was new beginnings. So things that were done in number sevens usually were, they were completed at number seven. And, and then we have, of course, number three, like the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And um, we are tri what, what we call triune people. We are a body, a soul, and a spirit. We have to use this body to get into the soul what we need for the spirit. And we get it in there by studying this book. We need to study this Bible. We need to start in Genesis after we've learned uh, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, that's you watching this morning, that you listening to this excerpt this evening or today, and uh, you, you are understanding that God died for you, Jesus came, died on the cross, and shed his blood, for the forgiveness of your sins. And in, in John 3, 16, said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, the one son that he had, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Early this morning I was reading in Zechariah where it said, uh, He stood before him in rags and stood before a, a, a holy God and rags and the devil Satan stood over there beside and accused this man in rags which was the picture of Israel and accused them to God and God said no I don't care if he's in rags no I'm gonna clean him up and he I told his angel to go down there and said you clean him up and you present him back to me 
with a firebrand on their head, and you present them back to me cleaned up. And uh, this is Brother Peter, and I see a